Okay, good evening everybody. Welcome to this meeting of the Finance Committee. Uh, we have a number of things to do tonight. Uh, we're going to start with minutes, but I have handed out to you three different things. One is that the uh, annual report uh, is hot off the press. Uh, picked up copies of this morning. And there are um, warrant articles for the uh, first of the annual town, first meeting of the annual town meeting on the week from uh, next Tuesday and that there will be a special town meeting on that same day. And I got the warrant articles from those, and we have to go through those and see what's in them. And then finally, we want to talk about um, the school budget. So, uh, Bob, we have the minutes, which I think we're handing out there. We have minutes from a number of meetings. Um, the first is a meeting from March 20th. Take a second to read those, and then I'll take a motion. Do we accept them? Second. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Next is the meeting of March 25th. I'll take a second to read those. Do we accept them? No second. second. Any further discussion? Not then. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Next, uh, April 2nd. Do we accept them? Do we have a second? Second. Any further discussion? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, third, April 18th. Next, April 18th. Will we accept them? A second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. And uh, finally, uh, from April 25th. Will we accept? Second. Any further uh, discussion on these? If not, then all in favor? Aye. Thank you very much. Um, Let's take a look at the uh, Warren article for the annual town meeting. I'll do this one first. Um, we've seen, I think, uh, probably uh, some pieces of this because they contained uh, in the uh, in the uh, budget information that we've received beforehand. So why don't we go on uh, through these and. Uh, Let's see if there's anything in them that we need to be especially interested in commenting on. Um, the articles 2 through 11 will be at the first uh, town meetings on May 13th. And then uh, articles 12 through 39 will be on the second town meetings on June 12th. On June 12th. Uh, Article 2 is hearing reports from town officers. I think at the first meeting, um, I'll just... Uh, if I say anything at all, it'll just be to say briefly that you are not, are not in favor of the articles and that if there's more discussion needed at the time of presentation, we'll talk about them then. But I don't think that they're, uh, the first ones usually turn out to be either controversial. Um, this Article 3 is a boilerplate for what's done every year. Um, Article 4 is boilerplate. Uh, there may be a change in the um, wage rate. I'm not positive about that. But the article itself is a boilerplate the article. Um, article 5. Um, do we know if that's a new amount there for the fee of 65? Does anybody remember? Oh, no, it was pretty yeah, they are modest. All these things are modest. Uh, article 6, another boilerplate with the uh, people listed there. Seven is a water plate on the revolving funds, mm -hmm. and uh, we've looked at all of these. Uh, looked at all of these before, and they're all right in line. Um, article eight gives the uh, town department's authority to enter into, into contracts. Um, article nine has the uh, wage scale. Which is uh, revised every year. Article 10, um, so sprinkler store systems. Apartment, apartment complexes. Uh, multi multiple dwelling units. I don't know if that includes condos or not, but uh, certainly apartments. Um, so, really, meeting one, we don't do anything. Meeting one, we, yeah, we, we usually don't really have to uh, 
don't speak very much at meeting when they're usually very, they usually are no controversial things, or if they're controversial, they're very modestly controversial. Uh, and none of them amount to very much uh, money. So through 10 on the first meeting, is that what I hear? Uh, through 11. Through 11. Yeah. The, the dates of those? Do you have any idea what 11 is? I don't know exactly 11 is referring to. <laughs> what for the board to appoint a member of the board of to a position that is under the supervision of the board of Maybe it's to. Um, we could ask our, the guy that looks things up very quickly, legally. What's an MGL? <laughs> Two, that. Two sixty-eight. I remember, and I can't say I know what the hell it is. Let's see. Mm. Never heard of it. It's like an ethics committee, it looks like. Um, Section 21A is on ethics committees? Yeah, that's what it reads. Um, all right, so 268A. 268A. A, yeah. 268A talks about conduct from public employees. Starting with Section 2 about corrupt gifts offers, all that type of stuff. Um, so, former state employees. Uh, you know, conflict of interest, candidates for employment of state employees, member state commissioner, um, and then 21A, uh, members of the municipal commission of board restriction on appointments to certain positions. So I get it open up. Section 21, except as here invited, no member of municipal commission or board shall be eligible for appointment or election by the members of the such commission board to any office position under the supervision of such commission or board. No former member of commission or board shall be eligible until the expiration of 30 days from the of services of the member of such commission or board. This provision section shall not apply to a member of town commission or board if such appointment election is first approved at annual town meeting of the town. So it sounds like they want to appoint someone to something that Maybe you know, normally is. Do we have an ethics commission? So, well, it's not really, it, 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 my no, first reading is probably an ethics issue. What, what it says is that you can't, any, someone on the board of selectmen can't be appointed to another town board unless it's approved at town meeting. That's a, that's a cop out. Provision section does not apply to a member of a town commission board if such appointment election has first been approved at the annual town meeting of the town. So this is to allow someone on the select board to be appointed to something. Uh, it doesn't take a second vote by the town meeting to uh, agree with that appointment? Mm, well, that's what the, it, 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 it's, it's... I mean, this, this authorizes that to happen, but... It, 21A says you can't appoint a board of selectmen to another town commission or board unless it's approved at a town meeting. And, and so this is apparently to approve it at a town meeting so that someone on the board of selectmen can be appointed to someone. So I can't imagine someone's not going to ask... What? Ooh. Yeah, and what? <laughs> and what? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. May 13th, stay tuned. And, uh, May yeah, that's kind of, I kind of wonder if, likely. if, uh, yeah. if it, it just went to, uh, hmm? it seems a little remote. What? No, well, I don't know. I mean, is there something that one of them needs to serve on? A second board or? Mm -hmm. um, they can certainly hold two elected positions. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, no, they're talking about something which is... Yeah, no member of municipal commission or board shall be eligible for appointment or election by the members of such commission or board, any officers under the supervision of such commission or board. So this would be appointed to... This would allow a member of the select board to be appointed to a board which the select board oversees. Yes. But this doesn't... This says to a position. It doesn't say on a board. Mm. Which would make me think that... Well, it, it's. Do we it's, want to hire someone in the highway department that's a member of the board of select? Yeah, it's. it's they could go the other way. He could be yeah. a member of the highway department and, and get a, elected. Yeah, it says eligible for appointment or election by members of such commission or board. Um, yeah, so it, it may not be as awfully worded as it should be, but you know the gist of it is this. So the town says, town meeting says, yeah, we're good with that. Now members of selectmen can serve on boards that ostensibly are under the board of selectmen's authority. There aren't many. I mean, there are committees that are formed. Yeah. Um, if it's a position, that would mean that it could actually be hired by the town as an employee. Well, eligible for appointment or election by members of such commission or board to any office or position under the supervision of such commission or board. Any office or position, all right. So that so it could be just another, a big one. Could be Jane, Jane Joyce is appointed to the energy committee. Yeah, could, or could conceivably be that is not permitted unless the town meeting says okay. Mm, yeah. I mean, I don't know that that's what it is, but just thinking of one that some, serves something else. Um, I wonder if there's a, you know, there, uh, a member of the board of selectmen has always been appointed to all the school building committees. I mean, statute says they statute says they have, have to have somebody from the board of selectmen. Well, maybe. But, but that board isn't well. No, no, you know what it might then be. It might be it, it, there's where you have in essence these two statutes contradict each other. So one statute says yeah, a select board has to be on the school community building. The statute says no, no one's on any any board uh, that's on that's only on the selectman position unless it's approved at town meeting. So maybe town councils just said, we ought to button this up. Maybe. So we'll find out. <laughs> so we'll be a surprise to the rest of them. Be surprised to everybody. Yeah. I'm sure it's <laughs> yeah. sure something pretty generic. <laughs> Someone's going to get appointed to something that they weren't quite expecting, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So 513 is the, is the first meeting, and when's the second meeting? We, uh, the second meeting on June 10th starts with article number uh, 12, article 13, article 12, it starts with article 12. And those are, these are money things that uh, are in the budget. Yeah, I'd like basically. this breakup better a year ago. The second session started with the budget itself and all the warrant articles that had already been handled at the first meeting. Well, I, I think that they expect that the special town meeting is going to take quite a while. Could be. Um, okay, so all the warrant articles of the sums drive will be received. Well, why don't we read them, and I think we'll be, I, I, I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Uh, article... 12 is uh, something I'm talking about. 13 is the uh, Chapter 90 money. Uh, OPEB liability in 14, we've seen that figure. Um, 9, Article 16, 17, uh, Council 18. School article 22 is cruiser. Uh, dump truck, mini excavator, mini excavator. Uh, dump truck, fire truck. 
pickup truck. Three stabilization funds. So, can, can we already approve the previous mini pumper? Isn't there money sitting around somewhere for that? I'm looking at 26. Um, let's see, that was the. Um, it was the contentious one. Everybody spoke against them at the meeting. Mm -hmm. Tommy, yeah. last year. Yeah. Yeah. But you, I think the answer to your question was yes. Mm -hmm. So is it that money plus the seven hundred thousand? No, the seven hundred is a brand new, yeah. separate piece of equipment. We have to vote. We have to vote to close out the other one. But we didn't get it. Yeah, that's true. If we're not going to get it, we'd have to vote to close out the article. So this is a pumper, not a mini pumper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I understand the whole, you know, go away from hoses and go towards pumpers thing. So this is a, a brand new pumper, and whether we're going to get a mini one or not, we don't know, because they were kind of just trying to have this meeting to decide some bigger group of people to decide this or something. Am I, am I remembering any of this right? Or? Yeah, I don't think any of that ever happened. So, to close out the previous article, we should suggest Chris put that on? No, we can't do that now. Okay. Um, maybe it's, maybe they're still doing that one and this is an addition to it? Let me check. I mean, you're trading that old truck in for the mini, or they were going to trade it in mm -hmm. the mini pump mm -hmm. because they have mm -hmm. to fix the valve on it or something. Yeah, that's right. Let me let me uh, check that out. That would be enough to do. Uh, we'll just hold off on voting for this one. That was one of the questions. Well, excuse me. Finance committee meeting. Yeah, yeah. And yep. I don't want to interrupt. Have a seat. Have a seat. That was um, one of the questions that we asked when we met with Chris. Yeah, I mean the impression is that we're not getting the other one. That's what you put down. It was going to be traded in, yeah. and it was fixed. Purchase was postponed for further research conversation about uses. But the money was appropriate. And it says a decision was made to purchase a different new vehicle. So the money is applied to this new pumper, is that the new vehicle? This is for the new vehicle. This is the new vehicle. Um, the other money isn't applied for, the other money is still sitting there in that, in that warrant order. All right, but uh, then should instead of $700,000, it ought to be $700,000 less the credit of what's already been appropriate? No, because it, you have to actually close it out. Close it out, okay. Yeah. yeah. But why they haven't closed it out is, would be a good question. Yeah. Right. Or to transfer that money right. towards this one or the other. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what makes the most sense. Well, maybe that would be a, maybe that's a motion that could be. Yeah. Sorry. No problem. What? <laughs> I guess that's why you asked the question that you did. <laughs> yeah, so maybe a motion from the floor. Just addressing that. Um, probably that, I'd be surprised if that would be allowed. Uh, to close out a previous article as a motion from the floor. It might be, but I can't. Well, you better have to well, but, answer that question in their back pocket. Yeah, I will get asked. Yeah. Right. But maybe a motion from the floor to say closing that article out, that that money be credited to us as 700000 uh, Just so everyone understands. Yeah, no, it would have to actually be closed out and then revoted. Okay. So, so, but, so, and so I think rather than do that, I suspect that'll happen in a future meeting that'll be closed out. Unless they're still thinking about having me, thinking about having two. Right. So a simple question in advance. When? One heads up yeah. to them, two, we get the Yeah, right. we get the information. Yeah. Right. 
free cash and it's the same. Pathfinder figure. So we don't actually vote on the 305 for the school? It's part of the budget. Okay. It's part of the budget. Um, it's Article um, 2nd last article. No, it's not the second last. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's just to get reports. Yeah. Yeah, article 36 is. Yeah, sort of. No, that is. That is it? That is the budget, but it, when they advertise it or post a warrant, okay. they don't put any amounts in for the various departments. But the wording is. Yeah, last year it was Article 22. Yeah. That's not right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Zoom. Zoom. Okay. So that's article what thirty six? Yeah. 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 This is where the budget comes in. So. Uh, and last year we did. Uh, last year we had a few other things besides the well, not much. We had the. Um, Municipal Waste Department and the uh, Sewer Department. So they're probably going to do all those at the second meeting this year. So that number 32, the 415,000, is it the one of the years in the contract for the pickup? Or is there anything else in there? Or? Yeah, that was in the, um, I think that was in the budget that we received. And we looked at before um, for the um, the municipal solid waste enterprise fund is four hundred fifteen thousand fifty dollars. The sewer enterprise fund two hundred thirty five thousand one hundred seven dollars. And the ambulance uh, enterprise fund three hundred twenty nine thousand five hundred seventy four dollars, plus the cardiac monitor. So those are the figures that we had seen before in the okay. budget. The um, so municipal solid waste enterprise, waste enterprise, waste enterprise waste fund item comes uh, mostly from the tax levy three hundred thirty three thousand dollars, and then uh, the rest from um, the enterprise fund. It's that balancing of the. Of the years of the contract. So, so we heard Jay say that you know, trash, trash is going to go up. Is, that, is this the last year of the contract? I think we're still on the old contract. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is this so third year or second year? Then? I don't know which it is, it's, but it's still the old contract. Um, and I don't know whether the, I don't know whether the new one is for 2021 or 2022. 
2022. We'll hear about it next year. Okay. All right, well then, um, I'll take a motion to uh, say that we are recommending all of these articles uh, except for uh, article, what's that? 26. Yeah, 26. Except for article 26. Well, why are we voting on these now? We've got to vote on them sometime. We, we have them here in front of us. <laughs> so, you, do, you do not want to vote on something? Well, I, can, I consider them all to be part of the budget, and we haven't approved the budget. Yeah. And we, uh, aren't, and we aren't voting on them. You know, technically, there's always been that question of whether or not these are part of the budget, because um, they come in in an entirely different fashion. When they come in through a warrant article, it's a different fashion from the, where the budget comes in. And I'm not, we think of this as budget, but I'm not sure that it technically is the budget. Okay. We still have to speak to each one. But we still have to speak to each one because it involves a, a monetary amount. Okay, well, I, I wasn't looking at them with the sense of did I agree with everyone or not. I was doing it that we would only, the first 11, we were only, the first meeting is only the 11 or 12 articles, whatever it is, none of which are money. Right. And then at, at a subsequent meeting, we would be voting on whether or not we approved all the monetary articles. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought we'd had a lot of discussion, but maybe not. Pardon? I thought we'd had a lot of discussion on the rest of the articles since they were contained in the budget uh, figures, even if they're not technically the budget. Uh, if you'd prefer to discuss these at, well, at another meeting. Okay. I don't know that I want them. I just said that when I was yeah. going through them, I wasn't thinking, yeah. do I agree with anything? Do I have a question on any of them or not? I, I wasn't doing that. In fact, I skipped over to the special town meeting that's going to be on that night because that was all brand new to me. And yeah. I was didn't think there was anything in here that we needed to deal with tonight. So, so when is the, when, when would you think about voting in the budget? we got to do that next week. Because it, I think by the end of next week or the beginning of the following week, we have to approve what a budget is that we're going to present to the town, and we have to write up our uh, annual report. Um, so it's got, I think, probably almost three week lead time before the uh, um, meeting to go to the print. I mean, is there really anything more for us to discuss in the budget? I mean, we've pretty much been through it. Well, uh, I don't know, just but we do have to take form and vote. Mm -hmm. We have to take a formal vote. Yeah, I mean, why not do it tonight? Um, I'd pref well, we've, first of all, we do have to meet and go through uh, the beginnings of, at least the beginnings of what we're gonna do for a write-up. Okay. And uh, if it's possible, and if it's gonna be possible, it's possible to have all five people. I'd rather have all five people. Okay, that's fine. the budget. It gives Bob a little more time to digest them. Uh, and we could hold off on these if we wanted to. I just thought that we had had, we have had quite a bit of discussion yeah. on some things, and if we if we uh, take the position that uh, since these come in in a little different fashion, um, and we don't have the option of putting a different dollar amount on these, yes, things, okay, which we do That's with the rest of the stuff. Well, we have the option of amending something and we're not agreeing with the amount that's here. Right, we do that. We're we aren't going to change what's in print. Right, we're saying we, right. you know, we don't agree with it. We don't endorse it. I mean, that's the, ultimately the... Yeah, that's ultimately what we say. Right. Yeah. Even though this year, pretty much. Right. How good. So, you want to vote on it together next week? Or? Yeah, we'll give a chance for Richard to be here in five weeks. Yeah. You want to wait till next week? I don't care. There isn't anything in here that I really object to. I'm just wondering. We haven't dealt with the, the elephant in the room, the school budget. And could any of that 
have any impact on any of this stuff. Well, the only, uh, I think the only, there's a one, just, just one school loan, right? Yeah, the $11,000. Uh, no, the, uh, the 21.5, Article 21. Article, Article 21, so maintenance equipment for the uh, Yeah, and um, this had uh, been reduced by, had been reduced by cutting out a writing war. Mm -hmm. But there's also this article case, you know, the special time. You know, 11,472 for the public schools. This is a prior year bill. Yeah. Which means it requires a fancy, a fancy vote. I don't think that has anything to do with this year's budget. What's a fancy vote? 60%, 75%, 70%, something like that? Extra. Maybe even 90%. I don't know. The only two in here that I really have any question about is the fire truck because of the issue we raised tonight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the, not about this truck, but about the other one. Do we really need to, do we need to do it separately? And if so, when are we, when are we gonna do the other half? And then just sort of a general comment on the equipment for the school department. And that's more a matter of principle than it is the dollar amount. Well, why don't we, uh, do we feel comfortable in, um, do we feel comfortable in agreeing that we would recommend um, all of the articles except for uh, 21 and 26? And we're not rejecting those articles. We're just going to hold off. Just, off. Them. just not do them tonight. We'll uh, phrase it so we uh, uh, recommend uh, in favor of articles 1 through 20, mm -hmm. 22 through 24, 22 through 25, rather and uh, 27 through 39. And we can come back next week and discuss it too. All right, I'll take a motion to that effect then. So moved. Have a second? Second. Any further discussion? Can on somebody those? repeat it? Yeah, this is articles one through 20. Article uh, 22 through 25. And Article 27 through 39. No, you don't want to do all of those. Which one don't we want to do? You know what? We're leaving out 21 and 26. Yeah, but 35, no, not 35, 36 is the budget. Yeah, you're leaving out 21 and 36. 21 and 26. 26. But Article 36 is the actual budget itself, which would include the school department, and we haven't finished. Okay. And you want it Okay, then we'll, be, we'll basically be voting Article 36 when we vote the actual budget. Yep. So it'll be 1 through 20, 22 through 25, 
27 through 35 and 37 through 39. Mm -hmm. Okay. So move that we adopt that vote. Do we have a second for second. that? Any further discussion? No. <laughs> if not, then all in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, okay, thank you. Um, I have not seen the Warren articles for the special town meeting, so we probably should take a little, a little time and actually go through and read these things. See if there's anything we think we have to comment on. Shirts and grass. So, what's going on with the solar installation? Is that what we were talking about when, when I came mm -hmm. in? That the one where the town could have to pay money back. Yeah. But that, in listening to the planning board and their discussions on it, they weren't too concerned about that. I would say they didn't even mention it. And the whole decision was based upon clear cutting. Mm -hmm. So that was the offensiveness of it, was the clear cutting? Yeah. And now, I don't know if that's correct or not. Because that, because when Jay was in here and talked to us about it, he mentioned something about money and maybe having to give it back in the well, life. Jay mentioned, and, and my understanding of it as well, is that there was a ruling at the Mass Bell Tax Board saying solar installations or utilities, utilities are not allowed to be taxed. And therefore, anyone who has, in essence, paid, uh, any time has received pilot payments, because of solar facilities, that's the necessary tax that needs to be refunded. No, we've we done that. We have a pilot with at least one solar facility. Mm -hmm. so. so you can't have a payment in lieu of taxes if there wasn't a tax due, I guess, that's is right. what it amounts no, that's, to. That's exactly, that's exactly it. But on the clear-cutting issue, I mean, I, the, the people that were against it based upon that, it I mean, makes some sense point. because you're, you're allowed to clear-cut for a subdivision, you're allowed to clear cut for a farm, so why can't you clear cut for a solar farm? And, and for the most part, these are on farm fields. Pardon? Uh, mostly solar arrays are on agricultural land, from what I understand. Generally, well, it's, yeah. it's cheaper, obviously, to put them on land that's been cleared than it is yeah. to clear it. Yeah. These are, seem to be zoning bylaws. There, and uh, is the uh, who, who's who's presenting this? Do we know who's presenting these? Planning board probably should be the ones. Yeah. Is that what's happening, or is it? I, I don't know, but I would assume it's the planning board. What's your definition of presenting it? Who's going well, to get everybody to vote for it? <laughs> yeah, who's going to who's going to be speaking in favor of it? Who's going to who's going to present the article and who's going to be speaking in favor of it? And has the planning board voted these things? Yes, the planning board has voted. They, they voted all of those. They voted all of these. Um, is it then their article to present, or is it a select board's article to present? Hmm. It's their articles. Know. So is there money associated with it? Is there money associated with it? Mm, so are we, no, no, it just seems are that... Are we required to... Okay. It just seems that they're, in essence, changing definitions and, and whatnot. Well, what I'm curious about is... They're striking a lot of things, but I'm not sure. I don't see what they're putting in place of it. So. Uh, are there exceptions that they're striking? 
They're, they're striking whole sections. Is this part of the whole bylaw thing? Yeah, they're inserting, and number two, they're, ins they're striking entire sections and inserting new sections. And those copies are available at the uh, select board office. They're not available, at, uh, not available to us at this meeting here. So, so we're just voting as a town member for these. Yeah, the if individual. if there's nothing on here that uh, looks like it's requiring funding or purport to. Uh, Cost us yeah, uh, something, not, then nothing we're not required, required to, to, to make a position on one. We're not required to but make a position. But buried in here that would have some financial impact down the road. It doesn't mean it. Yeah, so nobody said anything. I think our our bylaw section says requiring or, or purporting to require an appropriation. Yeah. Which is different than right. having financial financial problem at some yeah. point in the future. And I, I don't see anything in here that does that. No. I don't know. But, uh, and uh, I don't, we, we shouldn't be taking a position as a, as a board uh, on uh, any of those things. So we, oh, we got to deal with this eight. Article eight, yeah. And uh, I for think article. I, back to your question, who, who's presenting them? Yeah. I'd say it has to be the planning board. Because if somebody came in and wanted a zone change on a particular parcel of land, they have to go through the planning board yeah. to get it to the town meeting, right. whether it's the board of selectmen or, or a private individual. Like, right. So the planning board is. Mm -hmm. I would think Approved so. Approved so. all these items. At that level of detail, I would think somebody has to stand up there and knows what they're talking about to explain it. Which would well, the moratorium is a little bit di different issue. The other ones are all things that they themselves came up with. Okay. I mean, I don't think there was any. Yeah. So the, 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 only, the only one we need to talk about is the. Yeah. Okay. Let me get the I details. Think we have talked about that one. Uh, no. What was the prior building? I seem to remember something. I don't. I don't remember this one. It's I for a for that a there prior was a bill, but I don't think I yeah. heard what it was about. The the special town meeting um, special town meeting relates to the fiscal year that you're in. A special so special town meetings during fiscal year 19 are supposed to relate to fiscal year 19. Right. Is that a trick question? <laughs> <laughs> because this is obviously a bill from a prior fiscal year. Yeah, but I mean, it's so it's, it has nothing to do with the with the future. It's supposed to, and it's also uh, since it says prior year, then it's got to be voted in the year. But it's apparently for even from before 2019. Well, so if it were 2019, if it were for 2019, that, that's true. That's, it's it's not from 2019. It's right. probably from 2018 yeah, or or since, earlier. Since the whole year would be different. Since it's got money associated with it, I suppose we should comment or at least find out what it's for. Yeah, well, okay. I think we, we should. So yeah. when we hold on... Right, I'm going to add, add this to the list of the right. questions about the other right. three. Right. Or the other two. And, and why don't they just say what it's for? Why did it why be so... It might be special. Ed. Well, the Warren articles are written in very broad terms. Yeah, it might but be... But just give you a breadcrumb. But it might be a special at them when you have confidentiality. Say special ed. That's not divulging anything, is it? Part of the answer to our question ought to not be just what it's for, but how it became unpaid. Well, and also, doesn't the school have any authority to pay past bills? Not in a prior fiscal year. That's why you've got that two week period. To clean up your bills at the end of the fiscal year. Right. Once you get past that, there's a different set of rules that so apply. Can the school be given authority to pay a prior year bill? Oh, it also might be a bill that was not authorized but incurred anyways. So 
But the whole thing is that if, if they incurred this cost, mm -hmm. And I understand that um, normally they couldn't pay for a previous fiscal year's bill, but we're passing some kind of, of uh, warrant article at town meeting to allow it to be paid. Yeah. So the question is, are you allowed to pass the warrant article so that the school can pay the bill, or can you only pass the warrant article so that the town pays it? But the question of where the funding comes from. Oh, all right, that's what your question was. Yes, it's, really, it's, a, it's a, the wording relates to the question of the funding. This in, in theory, there isn't any money yeah, theory, other than in, in the revolving accounts right. that could but pay they, it to begin with. But they've got money in the revolving accounts. But they might not. But they do now. We know they do. Oh yeah, I know, we know they we, do. We know that they do in fiscal year 19. Let me ask that question. This is like but, there, but there is a procedure it's in the statute for how you go yeah. about paying it, and it may very well say that it, the town has to authorize it. Once the town authorizes it, they aren't appropriating it for the school. They're paying it out of some source of money. Yeah, that, that's what we ought to find out, because I, uh, I mean, that's, that makes as much logical that's sense as any other alternatives. Mm -hmm. Go fund me. And it does require some sort of a super majority. Any other questions on this one? Nope. All right, then uh, the thing we want to address tonight is um, we've got uh, we've got at this point two submitted state budgets, one by the governor and one by the house, um, and they differ in uh, in the amount of money that affects the school budgets. In the, um, in the governor's budget, which is where all the original work on budgets was done, uh, which is the only, was the only one available in January. Um, for the schools, there was a certain amount in there for uh, the funding for the school, Chapter 70 money. And there was a certain amount in for different charges, including the charges for uh, charter schools and uh, so forth. And then the House proposed budget came out just last week, beginning of last week, at the end of the week before that. And there were different amounts for those two figures. Um, those are the things that we talked about at our joint meeting last week and the uh, the difference in funding is in the neighborhood of seventy seventy five thousand um, dollars the uh, and the school budget that was passed they took the favorable amount that was included in the uh, house budget but did not take the unfavorable amount that was included in the house budget. So it ended up with an additional amount of money increase in the school budget. Whereas uh, it's arguable at least that if you want to, if you want to adopt the uh, house proposed budget as the measure, then the amount of uh, in-kind spending by this town for school purposes has to be increased by mm -hmm. that additional some thousand dollars, $82,000. So uh, when we, we've discussed about um, having a budget of debt school spending plus the override amount, but through all that, hidden in there are the figures that uh, offsetting net school spending already are the amount that the town spends on income expenses. So what we have to come to some conclusion about is what we want to use for those figures. Uh, we, can either, we can either go with what was originally presented, we can go with the brand new budget, or we can take a favorable view of uh, granting one and not the other. Um, so when will we actually know which budget it's going to be? Let me throw a different 
light on it, all right? I, I, I dip, differ a little bit with... Yeah, and I think I know where you differ. Okay. The budget that is prepared by the governor takes whatever information is available at that given day. Right. The amount of money that's going to go from charter school comes from DESE, and it comes out later in the year. So consequently, when the House Ways and Means is doing it, mm -hmm. DESE has said this is what it's going to be for next year. So that that number is really going to be the number. It isn't what was an estimate back in January. This now is the number based upon the rates set by DESE right, so for next year. You think we're safe on relying on what the House budget says? Forget the House budget, okay. the terminology of the House budget, right. using yeah. the, the April 24th or 5th yeah. figures from DESE as to what charter tuition and reimbursement should be is correct. Right. So using those numbers, how is that reflected in our current school committee budget? It would mean that they would have, if, if, how would it mean? Mm -hmm. It would mean that the town contribution would go up. Okay. Um, which in effect means the offsets that the school would be applying would have to go up accordingly. Oh, okay. And the, that's, yes. that's the 80,000 roughly. Or yeah. 75. Yeah. Right. Well, there, there's an increase of $7,000 in Chapter 70 revenue, uh -huh. which yeah. increases school spending. Yeah. That one, who yeah. knows, the chances are yeah. the house numbers right. Yeah. I, I thought we heard that actually Desi does, 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 does this multiple times during the year. They do. but. They're now, what, this last one that they came out with is their estimate for FY20. So whatever, wherever that figure came from back in January was not the number that they just put out. You mean that the figure that accompanied the um, governor's budget, it was there at time, it was on the cherry sheets at that time. Was there estimate for fiscal year 20 or was there? No, what, it was there? It, 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 well, it was maybe the best estimate. estimate available at that moment in time. Right. Yeah. Well, but it isn't. But it's now been finalized, and I don't think there's going to be another. You don't think they make another estimate? I don't think there's going to be another estimate as far as for next year is going to be. Right. Well, Obviously, if the number of students change, that number could conceivably change. For our purposes, using the DESE numbers. Pardon? Using the DESE numbers, are we still within net spending plus three hundred five? No. And, and we, we would not be giving them the 305 yeah. based upon, because what it amounts to is that the town in kind expenses would go up by $82,000 roughly. Mm -hmm. So then that reduces what, uh, what the minimum required is for the rest of it. Um, so it's but give they're it and working take it back. Hmm? So it's give it and take it back? Did I misunderstand? No. We would be charging them Eighty-two thousand dollars more than they thought they were going to be charged when they so put the they budget together. So they get eighty-two less. So they would get so eighty-two would, less. So our our figure well, would be eighty-two less. So if they want to maintain the that, amount we're voting, would be eighty-two thousand less. Yeah, let's be clear that the the Does figure the town get the eighty-two. The, the figure of net school spending plus mm -hmm. the override will be eighty-two thousand dollars less than what they were told it would be when they put the budget together. Gotcha. All right. Now, just as another thing, the reason we delay our town meeting or split it up and have it for the second one is so we can get the best figures possible. So here's an opportunity to use the best figures possible, and it makes no sense to me to go back and use what was there on January 1st. Otherwise, we could have no, a town that. meeting on early May and I be over that. and done with it one time. I agree with that. And we're not talking, really talking about this until the June meeting. Um, so, do we want to go what we have for the May 13th meeting, have a meeting ourselves between the May and the June meeting, and come up we with gotta that? Wrapped up no, we got to be wrapped up. we got to get wrapped up to go to print. So, what it does is it, it enters in really sort of all four possibilities for mm -hmm. two sets of two numbers, uh, what, what to do. Um, does, does the school... The, does what, the school department committee know this as well? I think it was first brought up at the meeting last week. But, yeah, I know, but they didn't seem to react terribly no. badly to it. I mean, they accepted it. I, I, they didn't argue. Um, 
which I thought they would. Well, so, uh, oh, boy, that would hurt they, us or something. But I wouldn't expect that because um, they voted for the budget that they requested. Mm -hmm. And the budget they're requesting is what we thought was minimum plus net school spending. Yeah. And so um, it didn't really come up, can you change your budget? Or will you be willing to take more money out of your current, out of your, the uh, funds that are available to them outside of the town allocation? We never had that conversation because we, we, weren't, we weren't going to discuss it ourselves until tonight. Just um, for the record, Scott, you weren't here. But after they get done with the amount of the million and three quarters that they're contributing this year, they're still going to have seven to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars available to start next year. I knew there was I forget the new word. Offset. Pardon? Is the the new word offset? I've yep. also got an axe to grind, too, <laughs> in this whole thing. Well, it bothers me a lot that we voted last year, at the end of the year, money to pay for that teacher that they had hired in the fall, mm -hmm. and another chunk of money. And at that point in time, they were fully aware that they were going to have money left over at the end of the year in their revolving accounts because it was late enough such that the final figures were in. They knew what circuit breaker was going to be. They knew what the school choice total was. So they didn't say, hey, never mind, we've got the money, we can cover it. They let the articles go through. And they came out of well, yeah. general government money I mean, I could, stabilization. I could, I could see that as an extra grind, but on the other hand, we're light years from where we used to be. We seem to be on a good path. We yeah, seem to be on a good path. <laughs> um, this is you know, really, in my memory, the first time that the school committee has come in. We're all basically on board with what the numbers are. There's no controversy this year. Um, you know, I'd rather we just keep moving forward on that positive trajectory. The other thing, I don't recall that in past years we've changed the uh, Town any kind of contribution figure. Uh, maybe we have, but I just don't. I don't remember. As a practical matter, the town contribution ought to be changed any time you can change it to make it accurate, whether it's in favor or in disfavor of either party. Right. And there's supposed to be an accounting at the end of the year which reconciles everything, and you put down actual numbers for things that you can have actual numbers. So, on. And so I don't know that the town does that. In, instead of three hundred five, what are they allowed to be? Pardon? Instead of the 305, what should it be this year? Well, I, I don't think that's the thing. I think that's the thing. I think that um, the, the question isn't what it should be instead of 305. I think that the, the basic question is what is the minimum that's going to spend it? Mm -hmm. that's, that's the question because the 82,000 comes out of there. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah I, I, I agree with that. Leaving the 305. Stand. Okay. Yeah. Um, here, take a look at that. Those are just Thanks. things that I put down. One, one, the top part reconciles um, the sources of their surplus or whatever you want to call it over the last, as best it can be determined over the last couple of years. And then down the bottom are, are all the additional appropriations that have been made from various accounts over the last two or three years. So that when we're talking, these are the numbers that are over and above net school spending.
thing I'm thinking about is this. First of all, I agree with you, the figures, and it is, uh, uh, there's no question that the extra 82,000 is really a town in kind expenditure. Mm -hmm. uh, the second thing is that uh, it does appear, I have no idea whether or not they knew about the surplus last year at town meeting time. There have always been so many questions relating to the past accountant and how figures were kept and where they were given and everything else and who had access to them uh, that I, I couldn't say with any certainty. But it's no doubt that uh, in retrospect, they didn't need the money last year. And if they didn't, and if, depending upon who the they is, it's either they, they didn't know or the people that worked for them didn't, weren't being supervised properly. Yeah. Right. Now, having said all that, um, on the other side, you know, we'd been working for years to get established a principle of net school spending plus 305, which used to be a given and then disappeared for years as a given. And to get the school to talk about um, using something like the school choice money as their own stabilization fund. Don't spend the whole thing down a year, but use that to pick up some of the ups and flows in, in the budget. Um, and we know that coming up in future years, that if in fact the town water supply of well water is in peril, mm -hmm. which um, by the studies that have been done appears to be a very distinct possibility, yep. then um, we know there's going to be a fairly large expenditure needed by the town to remedy that. Um, the uh, position I think that we'd rather be in is to, to the extent possible, forget about the past and what got us here, and instead concentrate on looking forward and figuring out mm -hmm. how we're going to solve the problem of the schools would always like more money to improve their programs. Uh, other departments in town would always like more money to improve their programs. We have um, things like the water problem, which are real problems. They're not gonna be a problem next year or the following year or the following year, but it's a real problem which is gonna cost a lot of money and has to be addressed. Uh, plus the usual, uh, the unfunded uh, post, uh, retirement benefits for employees. Um, and I myself, I think I'd rather see us just say, let's just draw a line right here and say that we should be looking at how to solve these things in the future, mm -hmm. take care of what the problems of Granby are, are going to be that we know, and um, just let the past be the past. I mean, looking at figures, and I agree with them, they're, they're all accurate. Um, but they sh definitely show, you know, 2017, it was 805 additional appropriation, but then it's, and that's when we really started saying, wait, you got all this in. Uh, and they have consistently gone down, 805, 564, 220. Now this year, we're pretty much at net spending 305. Mm -hmm. You know, so since we started working closely with the school committee, they have made improvement. And, you know, that's where we're at. Well, we've, got, we've got all these things on record now so that um, it would uh, be much easier for all parties involved to take a look and say, all right, uh, we've come to an agreement about uh, how things should be looked at. Um, it's going to be hard, I think, to go and break that agreement in the past. Of course, the town meeting can do anything it wants. You can, town meeting voters will come and vote however they want, but... Um, I think if, if people agree that this is a fairly logical way to look at going forward, then there's a chance that we would be able to actually have conversations about all the problems of the town within that context in the future. Um, and it also might be that in future years, if the, you know, right now they're saying that their school population is up a little bit informally, I understand the school committee thinks that 
the population that they're seeing now is going to be pretty stable for the coming years. I'm not so sure if that's just demographically going to be the case. Mm -hmm. um, but as school, if school population does decrease, we can always revisit the 305. Mm -hmm. I think I'm in agreement with you know the path we're talking about here. But yeah. I mean, I can't help but remember all those yeah. meetings yeah. that said, you know, this is the last time. Yeah. This yeah. is the last time. Yeah. How many well, years? In, how many years in a row did that happen? Well, you're giving them one more last time. Yeah. How many last times did they get? We gave them a lot. Yeah, we did. No they, question. So about we got trust yeah. that this is the last time. Well, it does seem to be a different attitude. No, they no. You don't think so? No. Okay. No, they, they got lucky last year. Mm -hmm. We asked them how much fluff they had in their budget. They said none, and lo and behold, they had some. Mm -hmm. They underestimated school choice by a hundred grand. They underestimated the uh, circuit breaker money. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of circuit breaker money left over the year before that. Mm -hmm. The reason they now have all of this is because we sub we the stabilization fund put money into the budget every year and then when they had money left over it became a surplus mm -hmm. i mean to my way of thinking honestly if you're going to defer and have your town meeting in june then you should be using the latest figures okay i mean I, I'm, I'm not sure that I, it's not house ways and means with me it's the fact that these are the best estimate possible as to what the school choice is going to be. Mm -hmm. And it isn't the January thing or middle of December, whatever it was, mm -hmm. when the governor was getting the numbers prepared. Okay. But isn't that the reason to have their own little stabilization fund so they can ebb and flow with changes? Right. And I think, I think we've pretty much, at least in our minds, established that we think that that's been an agreed upon principle mm -hmm. moving forward. But the uh, question is whether or not, well, well, we know as a matter of fact that they didn't do their budget this year based upon that. Their understanding was that this is what they were going to mm -hmm. charge by the time. So it's going to be, so you're in favor then of net school spending plus 305 plus 100? 82. No. You've still got the, you still got the um, coming in for the uh, Smith Volk kid if, in the event that. Mm -hmm. Pathfinder doesn't come up with a program. Yeah, there's a possibility that might not be necessary. There's a possibility that Pathfinder will have a program. Okay. Um, so are we going to have to make that decision tonight? I think we should. I think we should because otherwise we have to debate it before we debate the budget next week. I think we ought to decide tonight on what the the net school spending figure is, whether it includes or doesn't include the 82,000 and the 7,200. It's time's running out. That's true. <laughs> we, get, we do have a meeting scheduled for tomorrow night, which we can keep or not keep. If you want to meet tomorrow night, we can do it tomorrow night. Well, let's but, do it tonight. Yeah, I think we just should do it tonight. So I would take them. We can do the motion however you want. Somebody can make a motion to uh, take the figures that uh, we started with in February, or somebody can make a motion to take the figures we started with in February uh, minus the $82,000 or something. That's an exact figure for that that's in the latest uh, expenditure list. Or to uh, take into account both the new 82000 figure plus the new seventy. Thousand, seven thousand increase. So all of those things are options. However, anybody wants to make a motion. There's an initial seven thousand dollars in the house budget for, and we don't have to include that either. So if you had a meeting that was in here last week, and this came up with the school committee, and you didn't come to any resolution. Then no, that wasn't. No, that wasn't the purpose of the meeting to agree upon a budget, because we and, and we said at the meeting that. Uh, we had not had time to take a look at those new figures and figure out what we were going to do with the budget. Well, the most accurate figure would be 82,000 and 7,000, right? That would give us my most accurate figure. That would. That would take away, it would be, uh, have the effect of making their voted budget $75,000 short. Mm -hmm. 
Sure. All right. And, I mean that that would be that would be my rose. Yeah. I'm thinking that seems reasonable to me. Go with the most accurate figures. Those are the most accurate figures. Um, the question is, how do we wear the motion? It's not actually the most accurate figures because the seven. The only figure that's accurate in there is the A two thousand charge. Increase the A two thousand dollar charge. The rest of it, the governor's budget um, and the uh, house budget, differ by seventy two hundred dollars. But those things haven't even been voted on yet, and we haven't heard from the Senate yet. The only the only accurate figure that we've seen that's different from what we had in February is the um, figure on. Is it on charter? Well, there's charter tuition and charter reimbursement. Charter tuition and charter reimbursement. Figures that are different um, are on the, the top page. The Chapter 70 money. Yeah, same one. The House Ways and Means is seven thousand and ten dollars higher. Yep. And then on the um, back page, the eighty-one uh, the, the eighty-one nine seventy-six. The charter school uh, sending tuition. Is eighty-one thousand nine hundred seventy-six thousand dollars higher? All right. So if we went with that figure, then the difference between those two is what the uh, schools would have to come up with additionally from their surplus for this year for their budget. So if I remember correctly, we're not sure we have ever done this with the school before. I don't recall. I don't know that we have it. I just don't recall. I, I can say that we used, we've we used the House Ways and Means budget three times previously rather than the governor's budget. And the most recent time, we did not adjust the town contribution. Mm -hmm. And the town contribution was favorable to the schools. So why, why, why it wasn't done, I don't know. And, and I don't think it was done by us. I think it was right. the so estimate we, from the administrator. If we go with that, then we adjust net school spending by $74,966. That's the difference between that. No. Let me see if I can do a, a, mo a motion, which I think is what you're saying. That for purposes of our budget, we will use the estimate and the numbers provided by the House Ways and Means budget. Mm -hmm. And the town contribution to net school spending should be adjusted according to those figures. Okay. Which will then up the contribution by. Whatever it is, 82 minus 7, something like that? Yeah, 81,976 minus the 7010. Which no, means not the 7010. It's the difference in the. In the uh, it, there's another difference of uh, charter tuition reimbursement yeah, of, of 5,000. Oh, like so it's, it's uh, 81,976 minus uh, 12,191. So it's 69,785 dollars. So the budget would be $69,785 um, additional that they would have to come up with from their surplus funds that uh, we would not recommend, that we would not put into the budget as the uh, total amount. Oh, yeah, 69785 so, Basically, it, it uh, cuts the net school spending down. By that, by that amount. All right. And then the school, obviously, would have the option to try reduce their budget. Mm -hmm. I mean, assuming that we end up with the same appropriation, 
No, we no, we'd end up with a lesser appropriation. That's right. And then they, we end up with a lesser appropriation. They can still go ahead and spend whatever they want, but they're going to have to do it with their own surplus funds. Which we established the is pretty good. The, the town yeah. then spends net school spending plus three and five. That's right. But the school budget changes. That's right. Because the town because we're redefining, this is a real expense. We're redefining that's what's yeah. and this is real this is a real expense. The town's gonna have to spend this. And you're clarifying going forward that they should, you know, be using right. that number to start with. Yeah. All right, so what's that motion again? <laughs> <laughs> it's on and that we base our budget upon the House Ways and Means proposal, and for, that the town contribution for both income and expenses for both income and expen expenses, and that the, we have the t town contribution change to reflect the items in that proposed so, budget. So the town contribution will be net school spending plus the override amount. Mm -hmm. But net school spending from this goes down. The required net school spending the school goes down. For the, from the town will go yeah. down. And actually, uh, you know, there's another technicality here, I think, because we don't know that the required net school spending has gone up. Yes, it will. It will. It, it, will auto it does automatically because the way they calculate it, it's Chapter 78 plus. Okay. All right, so it... Okay, nothing, nothing official has been said about that, but that's again because no budget has been voted yep. on by the, by the legislature. Right. I'll second that motion. You made the motion? I guess so. I started to word it. Why don't you actually put it in the form of a motion and then we're good. Okay. Uh, and I'll have to write it up that much. Okay. Sure. So we we'll have a motion and a second. Now, is there any further discussion? Uh, I think this has to pass by majority. Um, any further discussion? Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? One. Okay, so it passes. Did by you oppose? Yes. Okay. So it passes by majority. All right, and I think that that is all that we have to do tonight. And then uh, we need a date. We need a date next week when we get together. And, uh, both the final budgets okay. and and have at least um, the beginnings of a discussion. I'll, have, I'll get some kind of rough draft together for what I'll write up will be. If you have any any suggestions as to what might go in there, send me an email okay. uh, and I'll try to get something. Uh, what, what days are we looking at next week? Put your wife on notice to get a proofread. Uh, we, we've got a very busy, I'm not going to get to do it this week. You want a professional editor? Um, mm -hmm. We now have a professional editor available. You want a professional Editor author. Uh, what is that? No, yeah, well, Lisa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Um, I th imagine Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. If you can. Okay. You have any idea of what you're scheduled? Thursday might be bad because it's a UMass graduation. Oh, okay. um, Wednesday looks okay. Wednesday for, would be preferable. Uh, is Tuesday possible? Possible. Well, yeah. Wednesday? Is that, yeah. I mean, might, if, we, if we do it in two meetings next week, then we can. Tuesday is possible. And Tuesday and Wednesday? So we're talking next week or two weeks? Next week. Next week. Seventh, seventh and eighth. Seventh and eighth? Yep. Bob, I think you can make. Excuse me, I was I'm right in my motion. Yeah. <laughs> next week, is seventh and eighth, next Tuesday and Wednesday, you think you can make Yeah, I'm, Tuesday and Wednesday will be okay. okay. Monday could be a little touchy. Well, then I'll ask Kathy to give us for both Tuesday and Wednesday, okay. and we'll meet on Tuesday and try to go through. We'll at least get the budget loaded then on, on Tuesday. All right. Okay. My um, motion ended up voted to base our town budget on house ways and means and to adjust town contribution to net school spending according to the figures contained therein. All right. All right. And I'll go and I'll double check on these items uh, on the Warren articles. And uh, anybody else have anything for anything else for today? I, I tried to look at the on those fifteen thousand or the twenty-one thousand. I tried to make a determination 
as to whether or not they were a net school spending item or not. Yeah. And I've got to say I could not. I think that they aren't because they talk about equipment costing over $5,000 with a useful life of one year or more is called capital. Mm. Mm. For purposes of the way they do their reporting. I could not see what we might have done because apparently, as, as was the case a year ago, our, the school department's end of the year report has not been either received or approved by DESE. Hmm. I got in there and all of a sudden there was a gap when we got, got to town 111. Hmm. But even DC doesn't know what happened last year. <laughs> okay. Anything else? No. Nope. That'll take a motion to adjourn. Okay, thank you very much. 802.